If you guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Still can't think of anything cool to say. What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are finishing up our WWE Elite Series 78 reviews for you guys with Naomi and Drake Maverick, as well as ranking Elite Series 78 from worst to best, in my own personal opinion. These are our last two figures in the set, and if you f hear, like, a slight, like, ocean sound or, like, water running or something like that, I do apologize. I think somebody's taking a shower right now. But anyways, guys, diving into these figures, I think we got a couple good ones. There are some things that we're gonna, you know, gripe about we're gonna get into that of course but here today guys I, I think we got two pretty solid figures but where would they come up in our ranking we will find out together you guys know we are replacing our basic Naomi which I'm really excited about cannot wait to get this Naomi in here I think it's definitely her best figure to date and it's not even close and then you got Drake Maverick over here who is getting his first elite figure we have gotten him in a couple basics so let's go ahead and get started guys you have your front viewing window here as we spin it around again now we have uh, we have someone not so happy who's typically a pretty good baby face, you know, happy face, and somebody who's happy. I think that's kind of weird. Spinning around to the back, guys, we also have some read-up bios. If you'd like to read it, you can pause it now. Rest of the figures in the wave, which we've already reviewed, be sure to check those out. A great in-ring shot of Naomi here, and a picture of Drake Maverick here smiling. And that's pretty much our packaging, guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into Naomi and Drake Maverick and crack them out of their packaging. All right, guys, so here is Naomi and Drake Maverick out of their packaging. Looking okay, you know, not, not nothing too out of the ordinary with these guys. They do look pretty good in their face scans and overall quality of the figures thus far. But I am actually interested to see where they rank. You know, how do they compare to the other figures in Elite Series 78? We are going to find that out in this video. But first of all, guys, we're going to dive into Naomi's accessories and the Naomi. And then we're going to run it back, take a closer look at Drake Maverick's accessories, and then a closer look at Drake Maverick. And then we will rank Elite Series 78 from worst to best. So with that being said, guys, let's go. Go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, so getting into Naomi's accessories, she does come with her entrance vest or entrance whatever the hell you want to call this, like, throw thing, and it is completely made of rubber or plastic. It's sort of a, you know, more pliable plastic or rubber, and you can stretch it around. I don't think you'll have any problems getting this on the figure, so I don't think that'll be any big deals there. It does have a nice texturing to it and everything like that, great bright green color and stuff, so it definitely matches her, you know, you, you feel the glow with this one, is I guess what you can say. It would have been really badass to see this in, you know, like a fur coat type deal like we got with John Morrison that one time from Elite Four, but uh, this is still okay, you know, nothing too big. I don't usually use my entrance accessories when my women's figures are on the shelf, so this will probably just go in my bin of rubber accessories until I can find some usage out of it, but next up, guys, we do have a look at the Glow in the Dark Women's Championship. Smackdown Women's Championship, I should say. I wish I had a black light because I'm pretty sure this whole figure, like, glows in the dark, like, this thing glows in the dark, this thing glows in the dark. We'll try to make it as dark as possible in here to show it off, but you guys know this was supposed to come with the Walgreens exclusive Naomi Elite figure that we were going to get, but I think they ended up canceling that line, and then the figure got pushed back, and now here we are like two and a half, three years later, I think, or something like that, where we have finally gotten this glow-in-the-dark Naomi Women's Championship, which is super cool. I think it's super badass. Whoever decided to do this to the championship when she was champion was great. Fantastic. Really good job. I think it looks great, and I'd like to see her make another run with the championship, man. I think Naomi's pretty underrated, so I think that would be pretty cool, but I I am happy to finally add this championship to the collection. That's pretty cool there. And then she does come with mic holding hands out of the packaging, and she has interchangeable slap hands or relaxed hands. So that, that's that's what you get right there. But real quick, I also want to cut off all the lights here and see if these things will glow in the dark. I got like sunlight coming through, so it's kind of hard to see, but I feel like they do glow. Like you guys can see it a little bit here. Maybe I can like, I mean, I feel like I'm getting a hint of glow there. You know, not the best quality there, but you know, it's there. If I had a black light, you could see it much better. But anyways, guys, let's get into Naomi herself. All right, guys, so diving into Naomi's elite figure herself, I think it does look like Naomi. I think we got a lot of good likeness going on here. I think it's a very good figure. I love the head sculpt. I love the ombre, like, black fading into green and then the lighter green. Again, you're definitely feeling the glow with this one. I think this is a really good figure overall, especially the head sculpt. It is much better than her other figures, and I just love it that we are replacing it with this one because, you know, it's got better articulation. It looks good. I like the lightning green going on on here. It kind of reminds me of Jeff Hardy or something, like this 
lightning green pattern all over the attire. Uh, green wrist tape, nice skin tone going on with it. I believe it's the same skin tone we got with our other Naomi's. Spinning it around, you got all these graphics going down the tights and everything like that. You got the little stitching on the front. Going down into the kick pads, double jointed knees, which are just always a beauty to have, man. Replacing those women's figures that don't have it is just so nice. And uh, for the kick pads, you, you still don't have ankle pivot, which is just something else we need, man. If anybody at Mattel ever watches my reviews, ankle pivot. You know, we got the double jointed knees. Double jointed arms is probably our first step for any figure, but ankle pivot is what the women's figures need too, man. They, they're way easier to stand when they have ankle pivot, so we definitely need ankle pivot instead of the basic boots that we're continuing to get. But overall, man, I like the Naomi, man. It feels good in the hand. It, it looks great. It, it's a good figure, and the ombre hair is just killing it. I want to I want to track down the Chase variant version because it's super badass too. I think it's better than this figure, but that pretty much does it for your Naomi figure, guys. Let's dive into some Naomi Elite figure comparisons. So for your Naomi figure comparisons, guys, you have one of her older basics here, and you guys can see here it did stand much taller, a pretty good amount taller there, and I definitely like the new Elite much better. It's got double-jointed knees on it. I like the attire better. The head sculpt's much better, much more realistic. This looks way too cartoony, and, you know, for the time being, it held up, but now it is getting surpassed by the Elite 78 Naomi, and I'm happy. I would like to see a braided Naomi head scan. I think that would be pretty cool as well, like we get on the back of the packaging over there, but, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the, it's no doubt about it, the Elite Naomi is much better, and uh, I like it, man. I I'm super happy to finally replace this Naomi because uh, it, it doesn't stand up very well, and it's just, yeah, yeah, just get out. So with Drake Maverick, guys, you do get a few accessories here, starting out first with this. Now, this is an accessory I don't really like. I mean, I know it ties into the moment. It is a wanted poster for our true WWE Superstar 24-7 champion. At the bottom, you guys can see there, it, it says any info at Drake Maverick or WWE Maverick. I think that's like his Twitter handle and his Instagram handle, but it's like really faded down there. I don't know what that's about. It does get a little bent out of the packaging because it's just a straight piece of cardboard. I mean, it, it is legit just a straight piece of cardboard. Maverick 24-7 piece of picture of R-Truth there with the title. Wanted. He was handing out these flyers trying to find R-Truth, obviously, to capture the 24-7 championship. I'm just not big on Drake Maverick. I don't know what it is. Any storyline he's involved in is just really comedic and something. I, I don't know. R-Truth is fantastic. I think R-Truth is really good at it, but Drake Maverick just seems kind of lame to me. And I just don't like this accessory simply because it's just a piece of cardboard and I, I don't know. Anyways, you also get interchangeable hands, which these are the Ricochet Kawhi Leonard hands is what I like to call them because they're dead gum massive. These hands are massive. These are massive hands, just the way they mold these things. And then compare them to Drake Maverick. I mean, his this whole hand would be like the same size as his arm, bro. Like, look at that right there. That is insanity. And he comes with mic holding hands out of the packaging. And uh, these are massive too. These are way too out of proportion, which you'll see in the next segment of the video. But for our last accessory with Drake Maverick, you do get a cloth black t-shirt, which is always nice. You know, it's always nice to have a crowd shirt or something. And it says Maverick 20. 24 7 playing into the 24 7 championship for drake maverick when he was chasing it and then uh it's just a play on the austin 316 shirt that they have made mock you know parodies of ever since they made that shirt but that pretty much does it for drake maverick's accessories guys so with that being said let's dive into drake maverick himself all right, guys, so diving into Drake Maverick, I think this definitely looks like Drake Maverick. You know, it kind of looks like a younger Drake Maverick, I'll say. I think Drake Maverick is a bit older than this figure maybe makes him look. And I think he's actually supposed to be 5'4 in height, which is supposed to be one inch shorter than Naomi, which we will check here in a minute. But going down to the uh, end of the torso, I think they did a good job here. This is a Kalisto torso and a Rey Mysterio torso, and I think this is the perfect torso for him. I really wish we could have gotten a Leo Rush Elite before he left the company. I'm really trying to work on getting a Leo Rush made. Maybe some of these parts will come into play when making a Leo Rush figure, but uh, you guys can go down in here. You got the Kalisto style arms, shoulders, black wrist tape. Look at these hands, bro. Look at the hands. The hands are definitely oversized. They're just way out of proportion. They definitely swallow the figure up, especially if you're going to put those Kawhi Leonard, you know, hand shaking hands or whatever you want to call these. I mean, these are just too big for sure. And I haven't figured out a figure that I want to replace, you know, these hands with or anything like that yet, but I know there's there's got to be a figure out there somewhere where we can replace it with, but going down into the attire, pretty basic attire, nothing too crazy with it. You got a black and white color scheme, kind of boring, you know, just some white stripes with the black, you know, not, you know, nothing too terrible. White outsoles look clean. You do get 
a 24-7 Maverick logo right there, which is pretty cool, but just, I wasn't big on the storyline, so the figure itself for me is just not one of those figures that I'm just looking for and, and just, you know, really, really wanting. I would much rather get the 24-7 title with R-Truth, who's just better and just better in the role, but overall, uh, you know, it's not, it's not bad. It's not bad at all, especially if you're a Drake Maverick fan. I would say get some interchangeable hands for this guy, but I do want to check out his height real quick before we move on to some Drake Maverick Elite figure comparisons, and it looks like, uh, if anything, he may be standing a little bit taller than Naomi there, which would mean that the heights are not accurate, but, you know, it's not a huge deal. I mean, they're near the same height anyway, so it's, you know, it's not a deal breaker or anything like that, but I was interested to know if they got the height right, but that pretty much does it for your Drake Maverick, guys. Let's dive into some Drake Maverick Elite figure comparisons. And for your Drake Maverick Elite figure comparisons, guys, the only thing I could really think of, I could have put the AOPP up here with him, you know, that was garbage. I don't have any of his other basics. I actually think one of his basic head sculpts were pretty good as well, but I feel like his basics may tower over him. I could be wrong about that, but from memory, I feel like they were pretty daggum tall. But here is the 24-7 Champion R-Truth and uh, the 24-7 Championship that Drake Maverick was obsessed over at the time that, uh, you know, this figure was uh, relevant. But there you go. You got both guys up next to each other. And if you wanted to see what the 24-7 championship looked like on Drake Maverick or you wanted to see what that was like, uh, here you go. The 24-7 champion Drake Maverick with his 24-7 tights and everything going on. There you go. But that does it for your Drake Maverick Elite Figure Comparisons, guys. Now let's go ahead and rank Elite Series 78 from worst to best. All right, guys, it is time to rank Elite Series 78 from worst to best in my own personal opinion. Now, how this ranking works usually is uh, I go from worst to best. So I take the figure that, you know, it may not be a, a terrible figure. It just may be the worst in the set if you come in at the bottom at number six. That doesn't mean you're a terrible figure. And just because you're number one doesn't mean you're just the best thing in the whole world with no problems with it. You know what I'm saying? It's just within this given wave, this is my personal thoughts and opinions on all these figures in a ranking category. This has to do with excitement level for the figure, how the figure performs forms, accessories, overall, head sculpt, all of it is played into this thing. Poseability, I mean, the, the list goes on. I take a lot of things into consideration before I do the ranking. So that being said, guys, coming in at number six at the bottom, you probably already know what it is. It has to be Drake Maverick. Now, the only reason Drake Maverick is here is, you know, I just wasn't excited for the figure. It was kind of like when we got this announced, it was like, okay, cool, Drake Maverick. It wasn't one of those figures was like, oh, hell yeah, Drake Maverick. I'm just not a big Drake Maverick guy. I think him as the GM on 205 Live was pretty cool. I enjoyed that role, but this comedic stuff and stuff like that, he just doesn't hit with me like our truth does. Is that weird? I, I don't know. I just don't buy it. He was in the AOPP. It's hard to take the guy seriously even though he is in comedic roles. I still take our truth seriously, which is kind of weird, but his hands are overgrown too. We've had a basic of him before. The attire is not the bad. I mean, it's kind of just, you know, it is what it is. And I don't know. Just the excitement level for me was not there with this guy, so I had to put him at number six. Coming in at number five, guys, kind of disappointing me with this one, but I, I could and pick another place for it to go. It has to be Naomi. I know these two came together in the same review, and the reason they were reviewed last is because they were the ones I was least excited for out of the pack, and even though this is an amazing figure, I still think there are better figures in the wave and figures I'd rather buy in the set over this one, even though it's pretty much top to bottom a perfect figure. I like the attire. I like the head sculpt. I like the ombre hair. I like the posability. It's just the excitement level wasn't there for me, and usage, you know, how much am I going to be able to use this figure comes into play as well, and that is why Naomi Naomi comes in at number five. Coming in at number four, guys, we have to go with Kofi Kingston. Now, this one for me uh, probably would have came in at number three, but because my eyes were miscentered and misplaced, I had to put it at the uh, number four spot. I just, you know, I, I don't know. It's definitely the best Kofi we've gotten, and I still like it a lot. I love the attire. I love all the colors. I like the pink sleeves. I think it's a good head sculpt. SmackDown title's cool. We've seen it before, but it is improved. I like the pink kick pads. I mean, overall, I really do like this figure a whole lot, but We've gotten a lot of Kofi's before, and since my eyes were misplaced, I had to put him at the number four spot. Coming in at number three, guys, is going to be one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. We got Randy Orton. Now, this figure is still very good, just like Kofi Kingston, very good. It didn't have any problems head to toe with the eyes placement or anything like that on the true effects. So that is why he got the slight nudge over Kofi, as well as him being probably one of my favorite talents of all time. I mean, that's probably going to give me a little bit biased, but it's my ranking, so I'm going to probably, you know, pay, play into some of my biases 
pieces here in my ranking video. But the Randy Orton head sculpt's nice. I like the attire. You know, it's kind of a re-release of Elite Series 67, but overall, I do like it. And if you need to update your Randy Orton or you want a Randy Orton figure, I think the Elite 67 is kind of expensive now. It may go for like 40, so you may want to grab this one. So it's a good replacement. It's a good current Orton, and I like it a lot. I got to go with uh, the number three spot for Orton. Now, you're probably shocked, guys. You're probably like, how the hell did Matt Riddle even make it this far and all of that stuff because there's so many problems with it. But now we're down to two and one, and we're going to get into it now, guys. Overall, I went with number two, R-Truth, and number one, Matt Riddle. Now, you're probably, again, being like, bro, how in the absolute hell did you put Matt Riddle at number one, giving all the problems with it? Well, I'm just excited to have a Matt Riddle official elite, first of all. Second of all, you got this beautiful cloth entrance coat. Uh, I love the Nike slides. I like the headband. I like the head sculpt. I like the interchangeable hands. Yes, the arms are too small by far. They're definitely way too small. They made some crazy choices regarding parts and some stuff going on like that. But I'm just a little bit more excited for the Matt Riddle figure than the R-Truth. Even though the R-Truth is basically perfect head to toe. It's got ball joints, 24-7 championship. I like the molds going on. Is it a perfect torso choice? Probably not for me, but it still looks really good. I love this R-Truth figure. It, can, it literally barely nudged it out. I just love this Matt Riddle, man. I'm just super excited for the entrance coat and the posability of it and just Matt Riddle overall. I told you guys he's probably one of my, like this is literally probably one of my favorite guys on TV right now on Raw and one of my favorite guys on TV on SmackDown right now. So it was very hard to rank these guys, but that was my official ranking. One Matt Riddle, two R-Truth, three Randy Orton, four Kofi Kingston, five Naomi, and six Drake Maverick. Let me know how you guys would have ranked these guys down in the comment section below. And one more thing I wanted to show you guys that's absolutely just crazy as hell. I got to show this off though because I think it's very important to uh, let you guys know about is if we take the jacket off of the Matt Riddle figure right here, you guys are going to notice that the shoulders and arms on this Matt Riddle are the same size as Drake Maverick. So there you go. Matt Riddle and Drake Maverick have the same arm size, same shoulder size, even though Drake Maverick is eight inches shorter than Matt Riddle and weighs almost a hundred pounds less than Matt Riddle. Same arm size. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for my review of the Elite Series 78 Naomi and Drake Maverick figures, as well as ranking Elite Series 78 from worst to best. I would love to know your thoughts on my ranking down in the comment section below, as well as your own ranking if you have it down there. I would love to hear it. Overall, solid set, man. I think all of the figures in this wave are good. You know, I, I don't think there's a bad figure in the wave. There's just some in this figure wave that has some parts issues, you know, uh, a little bit misplacement here and there. Did we completely need all these guys? Definitely not. I don't think, uh, I don't think some of these guys were needed. However, I am uh, I, I like the wave. I like it overall. I think they did a fantastic job on most of it and I am looking forward to Elite Series 79. If you guys would like to pick up any of the figures you saw in today's video, definitely go over to Ringside Collectibles WrestlingFigures.com. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. You can grab one of these figures. You can grab all these figures. I don't know which ones are on back order and whatnot, but you can definitely go ahead and check them out. Just go to Ringside Collectibles or WrestlingFigures.com You could Google Ringside Collectibles, whatever you want to do. It'll pop right up. Use promo Promo code MD Toys when shopping over there to save some money. I enjoyed reviewing all these figures. I hope you guys enjoyed the reviews as much as I enjoyed enjoyed actually doing the reviews. But that is going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.